the camera. <laughs> Enter to electronics. Uh, we're going to start off with a few keywords uh, and uh, specifically with electricity. Uh, there's four characteristics, current, uh, voltage, resistance, and power. Um, and starting with current, electric current, um, it's really the amount of electrons or charge moving past a point every second. Uh, does anyone know what an electron is? That's the bond. <laughs> what does, oh, first of yeah, it's uh, it's what's inside that. It's like a, a small it's particle. It's what revolves around the atom. It's it's a particle that um, makes makes uh, us. <laughs> um, and there's uh, so what we really need to know is that there's a whole lot of electrons going through uh, an electric current, and um, it's kind of you want to think of it as as speed. Uh, the faster the electron flow, the higher the current. So um, for cars, what's the unit for measuring the speed of the car when you drive? Uh, miles per hour. Miles per hour. Ma miles per hour. Um, <laughs> everywhere else or in America. Yeah, true. Uh, so, but for electrons, they go by Coulomb per second. Um, and people found it, it's like, to, to repeat Coulomb per second is just too much, so uh, we're, we're, we use amperes or uh, amps. Uh, one amp is one Coulomb per second. Um, so this is more every amp. There's that many electrons moving a point every second. We don't don't care about the 6.25, but um, does anyone have questions about electric current? just like the speed of uh, the electricity, really. Um, it's represented by the letter I for intensity, or that's how I kind of uh, I'll always, because why is current represented by I and not C? Um, but uh, I think it's like intensity. Yeah, that's uh, voltage equals intensity times resistance. We're, we're going to go over that. Um, so, ampere can be A or just amp. Uh, oh, I did something here. Next. Okay. Next term is voltage. Voltage is um, you want to think of it as like the pressure that's mo uh, that's pushing the electrons. So the higher the pressure, the higher the voltage. The same relationship with current. The high, uh, more electrons, more current. This is the higher the pressure, the higher the voltage. And it's represented by E for electricity. Um, sometimes people just use V. And the basic unit of measuring uh, voltage is volts. Um, and I, I wanted to separate like voltage from current. Uh, if they're separate things. So if you have a you, you could have a very small voltage uh, or very small current with a very high voltage or a huge current with a very high uh, voltage. So um, it, it, they're not the same thing. Um, any questions about voltage before I move on to resistance? Mm -hmm. Am I going too fast for no thinking? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, oh, five minutes. So oh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to repeat anything? Okay. Okay, I'll go slower. So, um, I keep pressing some kind of. Okay. Uh, so, resistance is an expression of the degree to which electron flow will be impeded through a conductor. I'll say it in English. Uh, it's just um, uh, something that slow, slows down um, the, the amount of electrons that go through the, um, the conductor. So um, let's, we have electricity going through some kind of metal. Um, and because it's going through that metal, there is some, 
there could be no resistance to it. So nothing is slowing it down. Or um, there could be like a switch in the middle of the circuit. And so there's air, there's like an air gap. Um, so um, there'll be 100% resistance. Nothing will go through. Um, this will make make more sense, I think, when we go over. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, the unit is uh, an ohm. It's represented by an omega. I couldn't get. Um, where's? The, I need the marker. This is the omega for ohms. So more more in resistance. Um, in simple circuits, it's just the resistance determines the relation between voltage and current. Like Osman just said, it's V equals IR. Uh, but at, like at the extreme, a short piece of wire will have a resistance of nearly zero ohms, while an air gap, like in, a, in an open switch, has very large resistance. So we could say that in a conductor, uh, a voltage difference between the two ends will cause a current to flow. And how much current will be determined? How much current will be determined by how much resistance the conductor offers? So um, if there's li li less resistance, more current will flow. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if and. In reality, if, if uh, given a power source of high enough capacity, if you have the resistance, you'll double the current. Does that make sense as well? Yeah. Okay. So what what would happen if you doubled the resistance? You'd have the current. Exactly. Okay. This is a small way of like. Uh, keeping that in, uh, in mind. It's one volt will push one amp of current through one ohm of resistance. Am I still going too fast? No. Okay. Louder? Okay. Um, the last characteristic we're going to go over is power. Uh, um, there's the unit of power is the watt. Like, so when you, you hear what's the wattage on yeah. this, they're talking about power. Uh, it's an expression of the overall energy consumed by a component. So the same way we, um, when we eat, we, we count the calories, and that, that's the energy uh, we intake. Uh, for a current, it's the, uh, the power, and it's in, watt, in watts. Um, it's worked out by multiplying the voltage and the current together. So it's uh, power equals voltage times uh, the current, which is in intensity. So P equals VI. Um, so this is a small example. If the motor was running at 12 volts and the current it's drawing is 2 amps, the power, what would be the power uh, it's dissipating? Or how much power is there? How much, Ben? How did you get to that? Okay. So it's 12, time, 12 volts times 2 amps, which is 24 watts. <laughs> That's all for electricity characteristics. Uh, there's two more things we're going to over and go over. How circuits are wired and their differences, and Ohm's law, which is the most important law um, in electricity, actually. So on wiring circuits, uh, for electricity to flow, there needs to be a path that connects all the elements together. So um, uh, it has to be like a closed circuit or else the circuit will just be an open circuit and um, electricity won't flow through. So like here on this illustration, if um, the battery and the lamp are connected together, uh, if, it's not, if the circuit isn't closed, 
the lamp won't light up, but if it is, then it's a closed circuit, it will work and it will light up. So electricity will go through there, through the loop. Uh, I have a small side note. I used a schematic there to represent the battery. I mean, or I will use a schematic here. Uh, schematics are just like small symbols. Instead of drawing a battery and a lamp each time, you just draw that small um, yeah. symbol, and then the lamp is the other thing, the coil in the circle. And there's lots of symbols for things. These are just a few. Uh, so like, I like the resistor symbol the most because it makes a lot of sense. Um, it's resistant, so it's like slowing down the electricity that flows. So that's why it's like a crooked line. It's making it longer for electricity to go through. Um, uh, there's a diode, ground, capacitor, potentiometer. You don't need to, to get all these down, but I mean, uh, there's a great book in here. information than, uh, it's uh, yeah. Let me see. I think it's usually well, you could browse through this. It's really interesting. If you want to go through now. Okay. So back to wiring. Um, there's really two ways to connect two things. Um, either in series, so they're so I have two lamps that I want to connect. I could choose to put them right uh, after each other. So um, current would go through the first lamp and then go through the second and then go back and that's how it's closed. Or, uh, and that's why it's called series. That's how like um, Christmas lights are, they're called series. In series. Um, and uh, the other way is to put them in parallel. And it's exactly that. The and when we draw them out in a schematic, it's, it's, um, uh, they look like two parallel lines. And they're, um, so power go, or electricity goes through both of them at the same time and then goes back. And that's how the circuit is closed. So instead of, um, um, so the electricity will end up being, or the current will be end up uh, being halved to go through both of them and then coming back. So the first one will go bolt when dead, the second one will light up, right? Correct. The second one will Correct. Stay. Yeah, if it's in parallel, then that's like a more of a backup thing in that mm -hmm. case. So they won't both light up? If they're in series? Or in, in parallel. Uh, if one is uh, ruined, the other will light up. Oh, okay. Yeah. It but will actually the take the full power. Any other questions about in series or parallel? So, um, can someone tell me what's um, the the are the lamps uh, on the left in series or in parallel? The ones on the left are parallel. Parallel. Yeah, the other one series. The other one's series. Yes, because uh, uh, can someone say why? <laughs> because they have their own different lines and the other ones connected in the, the same line. Source. Mm -hmm. So how does electricity flow on the left? A separate currents. Mm -hmm. And the other ones in the same way. Right. Exactly. The electricity needs to go for t to one to get to the other. Yeah. On in uh, in series. Ohm's law. <laughs> so this is the relationship between voltage resistance and current, all three of those. Um, so voltage, resistance, and current are related in the following way, V equals IR. Um, you can use it in different ways. You can uh, divide by uh, R on both sides, and you would get 
I equals V over R. Let me or did you see the I? I is current. But that's, I don't know how right that is. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I mean, current is an intensity, but, and that's probably why they could do that. Um, let me. So there's a really nice way of thinking about this, and I uh, always draw the circle. So uh, if, I, if I draw the circle, because it's very easy for me to remember this like that, and then I would say, OK, voltage equals I times R. Can you see this? Yeah? OK. If you want to get intensity or current, you would just say, oh, it's V over R. Or if you want resistance, it's V over I. Instead of like figuring out oh, which one do I divide over and all that, I think this is very because I'm visual, I think this is very helpful to me. So, wait, what, what's, what's uh, intensity? Mm -hmm. And uh, what's this equal to if um, um, voltage, with voltage and resistance? Can you tell me like what the relationship would be if I wanted to calculate, if I, if I have voltage and resistance? How, I'm sorry? <coughs> I equals I'll, V I'll over R. R. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No. Um, so if, I, if I'm if i looking to know what V is equal to, I just say I times R, because they're beside each other here. Yeah. And uh, if I'm looking to know what I R is, I say it, there's this line there. So it's V over R. So I would say V divided by R. So what what would R be? V divided by I. Right. Is this helpful? Thanks. <laughs> so um, this is another Let's calculate this stuff. Um, so, and this, is this too small of a or can people see? Yeah? OK. And this, uh, this is like a, a, frag a fragment of a circuit. It's not complete. But um, there's a resistor that's connected to 5 volts. Uh, so it, it's getting a voltage of 5. Um, and we want to. So, and if the resistor's value is 10 ohms, let me write that down. So what do we know? We know that, um, OK, so we have that voltage is um, 5. And we know that resist the resistance is 10 ohms. OK, that's what we know. Uh, We, and what can we f um, figure out? We could find out what the current is. Uh -huh. What do you divide over what? Uh-huh, 5 over 10. So we'd say I equals 5 over 10, which is uh, 0.5 amps, which can, there's also 500 milliamps if you want to take out the point five. I won't go into that. So how about now if we double? Oh, I have the answers on there. <laughs> but uh, OK, so if we double the resistance to 20. So we had, it was 10. And now resistance is 20. Um, what does the current become? Okay, it's up there. It, uh, it's 0.25 amps, which is what, uh, so we, we got 0.5 amps uh, with the 10 resistance. So it was halved when we doubled the resistance. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Does anyone have any questions about this? Is it all clear? <laughs> okay, we're done with theory. Um, so circuits. This is more fun. Uh, there's the, these are like regular circuits. Have have you all seen circuit boards before? Yeah. Okay. They're everywhere. So um, they look soldered like this on the back. Does that? Um, so so this is, there's like many components that are all soldered and with with soldering iron um, onto this board, uh, and it's all uh, put together and. Very stable that way, and uh, that's how it, most circuit boards are, or ha have been recently. But there's also soft circuits. Does anyone want to guess what the soft circuit is? You? Oh, the soft. Isn't it um, the flexible ones? Like on the flexible? Mm -hmm. um, like on the uh, iron sheets, the iron. The copper, that, the copper, copper, copper. Uh -huh. yeah. So that way you can bend them and put them in the Definitely. clothing. Definitely, yeah. Instead of using uh, the regular like, solder and uh, wire and hard, like, hard parts, yeah, um, you can use conductive threads, which oh, I have a conductive thread. Um, it's, it conducts thread because it has a metal in it, but it's just like from a fabric, I mean, that you would sew. Um, sorry? Okay. Um, so we're going to be working with soft circuits. This is some, they, it's really obvious that they're using like these lights with uh, programming uh, thing, and it's all connected with uh, with the same thread. So the the circuit we're going to be making today, or between today and Thursday, uh, comes in these kits, um, and it's a, a really basic. Uh, circuit. There's going to be a switch. Does everyone see the switch up on the left? Um, and when you press on that switch, it's the lights will light up. Um, and so to make, uh, so we obviously need the battery in there. Um, everyone's going to be designing something, and that's why we told them to bring clothes or a belt or something like that. And uh, this is like a simple example. Of <laughs> so when you, uh, it could be all hidden. It's going to all be hidden except for the lights. So, and then you'll just have, you'll press on the switch and the lights will light up. And can someone tell me um, how the lights are connected up there? Uh, is it in parallel or series? Can you series. Yeah. Um, no, it's actually in, uh, in parallel. Uh, the green, oh, yeah. the green thread goes uh, goes to both, and then the the white thread comes out from both at the same time. So the electricity, the current will go through both at sure. the same time. So um, there's everyone's going to get a kit. Uh, comes with a little bit of fabric, so um, if you want to get something outlined, and then you just cut it in the form of you, what you need, and it'll be a pin of some sort. Yeah, that one's wrong. It can be pulled on the camera. The top left. That's more confusing than helpful, I think. You're right. It has to be. Um, the electricity needs to go from positive to negative, but I, they put it in there because um, the battery um, has like one side negative and positive, and then um, 
So the switch is really getting the positive and negative, but it's, it, they're just saying you have to connect positive to positive, positive to positive, negative to negative, which oh, is okay. not, not the right way of how, how the um, electricity will flow. It's more of like saying connect this to this. Does anyone have questions about this or um, any clarifications? So I wanted to show you a few um, things. Um, oh, I actually had to restart my computer. So let me see um, if I could pull them up real quick. She's using the, really the same thing I think we're going to be using. It's an LED. She uh, puts LEDs in her gloves. I had more more examples, but uh, I had to restart, so I don't have anything now. Um, but um, it's so what we're going to be working on today is deciding uh, what we're going to or how we want to place the circuit and what will what will we be drawing. So I got some puff paints, and uh, hopefully you got the clothes, or we'll get something uh, for you to to put the circuit on. And um, you just design that, and then uh, it'll take some time to dry. So we'll just continue on Thursday, and that, that's when we'll sew in the, um, the whole circuit with the with the battery holder and the switch. And there's the thread, and these are the two LEDs. In here. Um, does anyone know what they? kind of do or have any ideas for what they want to draw in design? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Or do you, are you thinking of anything in specific? Siri. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, I'm talking as far as like design. Um, yeah. That's something we want to start like, thinking on. We'll have about half an hour. About half an hour, maybe more. So, I mean, the, in practice, like what we're going to be doing is 
very simple, but there's, there's so many applications. So when you think about switches, like think of it, think of it as an indicator. So what's going to put off the switch and it's going to turn on the light? So um, like something like, oh, you're in your car, and all of a sudden the switch is activated by you're you having low gas, and then the light turns on, and that's like a very important thing to happen. That's something more. Like that's an example of just. Yeah. Take it more conceptual. Like you're not actually building your car and building a indicator for gas, like low gas amount. Um, but along those lines, like you can think of the scrap as you like. I know if that was helpful. Okay. So we have about half an hour to come up with an idea of some sort, and then we'll get to designing. Okay, and then you, I mean, you could, I don't, have we tried to laser cut, uh, I mean, to agree with fabric? Yeah, so if you want to. Fabio and I are going to be clothes, so I told you have a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I want that. It should be printed And it could be, I mean. I have the thread that comes with the kit isn't uh, that long, but we have lots of thread here, and um, so you could make the circuit as big as you like. As far as it goes on a t-shirt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>